Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Exciting things are happening. I just want to keep you updated. I know a lot of you appreciate these constant updates. So I really um, sometimes use my lunch break to do, the, to do these updates. But, you know, we are all interested in what's going on. So I'm quite keen to do this as well because it allows me to stay close to the price action and make the best decisions for myself. Um, I always try to keep these updates very honest, not to hype anything. And what I tell you is genuinely what I believe. But please always understand that this is not any financial advice. So please always come to your own conclusions by making your own decisions. And what I always recommend is, you know, watch different YouTube videos, take a look at different TAs and um, don't only listen to one person. I'm sure you're doing that anyway. But the first thing we're having a look at, it, as always, we're having a look at the prices here. Cardano is really doing well. Um, one of the best cryptos at the moment in terms of price action and being in the in the positive in the top 10 cryptos so really well um, there's a lot of positive things about cardano at the moment from a technical standpoint compared to bitcoin for example and we're going to take a look at that now we can also see that bitcoin might hold cardano actually back a little bit that's what i believe you know cardano would probably go to the moon at the moment but because bitcoin is going down so the whole market is basically dragged down um you know it's not looking too good for cardano at least you know i i guess it could really break out but we're not doing that because of bitcoin it doesn't mean that Cardano can't decouple itself. I mean, other co cryptos like Quant and ICP have done that before. So why can't Cardano just decouple itself entirely from Bitcoin? That would be interesting. But let's have a look first quickly at the Bitcoin chart, because as I said, it drags the whole market down, even though Cardano is really doing well. But how long can Cardano do that? So always important to take a look at what Bitcoin is doing, in my opinion. Two things playing out here. The first was the ascending wedge, which, as I said before, was a bearish potential a bearish move and we move to the downside then we had within this ascending wedge this triangle forming which sort of confirmed why we were breaking out because this broadening triangle again it's a bearish pattern when um, there is a lot of uncertainty in the market buyers are strong but sellers as well and in this case the buyers were a bit stronger so we've actually we're just about to break out below that um, in the broadening triangle but we have the support here which is really good for Bitcoin so you know we, we just need to track that um the support i believe is quite strong here this 20 day moving average and i hope it will hold so we need to see if that's going to break out let's have a quick look on the four hour chart i actually didn't have a look before this video what the four hour chart is doing but it sometimes can be quite um quite important don't know it's not loading at the moment so let's have a look at cardano first cardano doing pretty well this is the daily chart We've had the, in my opinion, um, the bull flag play out here. Oh, no, I didn't move there. The bull flag play out here. So we had this channel here moving down after this pump that we had uh, in the last few weeks. And then we have a, a channel which is going down, which is a, a flag pattern basically. And then we managed to break out of the top. Now we're just in this sort of uh, limbo state between this 0.236 and the top of the um fibonacci retracement but um yeah we're, we're just in this top area now as soon as we can break this top line which is the 220 then we will be on our way to the 225 which was the previous high the local high and above that i think we can pretty much get to the all-time high so two more resistance levels now that we need to take a closer look at um, but there is something positive playing out on a lower time frame that I want to show you. And that's why I believe it looks really good for Cardano. I talked about these indicators down here um, today before. This evening when I have a bit more time, because it's not my lunch, it's my lunch break at the moment. But this evening I want to have a look at the awesome indicator. Yeah, it's a funny name, but the awesome indicator gives a good indication of the momentum in the market. So I want to introduce that. I've never done that before on this channel. So we'll have a look at the awesome indicator and what it says about Cardano. So stay tuned for that if you want to hear more about that. Uh, yeah, join us this evening. And then what we are currently seeing, yeah, this will determine where are we heading. Currently a uh, slightly red candle, but we've already been at nearly 220 today apparently. So that is interesting. But if I go to the four hour chart, it becomes clearer what I want to tell you. So the four hour chart, okay, we don't really see a lot here, but what we can see it's climbing up slightly. Yes, yeah, step by step, we're climbing up above the 20 day moving average again, which is an important support level on the four hour chart for Cardano. I mentioned that before. That's looking really good. But what's really interesting is what we can see here on the hourly chart 
And you know these chart patterns, sometimes they don't work out, but I think in the last few days with the bull flag and the, the yeah, the, the flag pattern and everything, um, Cardano is doing some really nice patterns actually. And now what we can see is actually a triangle forming and it looks like a, like a symmetric triangle. Um, you know, these are never 100% clear, but what we can see here, I'm just gonna show you, we've got this triangle, triangle shape here and where we are currently in an uptrending market, which I believe we are, if you have a um, if you have such a triangle, this is a trend continuation pattern. So this is obviously the hourly chart. So in the next couple of hours, something will happen, guys. And when you watch this video, it might have already happened. Currently, price at 210. So this is a trend continuation pattern. And if we look at where the trend is, the trend is clearly going up. We've broken that flag pattern to the upside really nicely. And also we've had the, uh, the bull flag, which indicates a move to the upside. So let's assume it goes up. That is my current view based on what I can see pretty strong indicators here um, and um, in my opinion we are in an uptrend for Cardano even though Bitcoin isn't doing that well but generally um, it should be really going quite well we're currently on our way down a little bit on the MACD but the MACD can change pretty quickly on the hourly one so let's see what the MACD is doing and if that triangle will support what um, generally it sort of says if it's a triangle in an uptrend it should be a trend continuation pattern Bear in mind, these sometimes they can go wrong as well, but I go by what is generally assumed in, in trading and I believe we are in an uptrend. We can see that by, you know, with that huge recent pump and generally that we've broken this, uh, well, the, 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 this channel here, which is the flag pattern to the upside as well. I believe we are in an uptrend and that is why I believe we should see that play out to the upside as well. Let's see, I'll keep you updated. Check this out when we are above. That's why we're trading at 210 at the moment and it's less volatile at the moment. So if we go above like, guys, like 212 or so, we've broken the triangle. Um, and then obviously we need to stay above that and then we can climb our way slowly to 220 and even above. And that is why I believe we will see hopefully the all-time high before we get the Alonso hard fork. Let's take a quick, let's quick look at the Bitcoin four hour chart, which uh, didn't load before. We can see, yeah, it's sort of going just a below that um, broadening triangle shape here. Still a little bit of support. So I think we haven't really broken out yet, but also what we've got coming here on the four hour chart is the 200 day um, moving average, which will provide some support. So it's not look looking all bad for Bitcoin and on a longer term anyway, this is still a bull market, I believe. Also, you know, if we look at the weekly indicators, which I took a look at this morning, this is all playing out uh, pretty positively, I think. So not much to worry about at this point. I think it is a temporary pullback in, in like an uptrending market. So looking really good at the moment, especially for Cardano, especially for Cardano. I think really some very nice patterns here playing out. Um, can't wait to see the next pattern. Hopefully we'll go up and above and beyond what we what we thought. So I hope, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.